Painting picks out and photo grid for editing. So open picks out. Once that is open, you want to click on draw, then start drawing. Then you pick a resolution you want, but I'm going to use a higher resolution because I'm making a banner, so I'm using this. And you can also choose the background for your pick channel art. I'm going to use white background so this stands out. Then next, you can leave the channel out as white, but you can also make some editing onto it. So I'm going to put editing and I'm going to change the color of the brush to any color you want to but I already have the color picked out which is going to be blue so I'm using blue for this tutorial then you can also make choose the pattern of the brush stroke you can choose what kind of pattern you want it to display so I'm going to go with this pattern here yeah, this and you can also increase the visibility or reduce the visibility of the patterns and also you can increase the sizes also so I'm going to give the size to 62 which is very good for that then that is set then I'm just going to make a single stroke in the middle of the paper once that is done you can actually save the image you can just continue editing it so I'm just going to continue editing Then it takes me to a new page on this page i can actually do whatever anything i can add text i can add pictures and i can also also add stickers to the channel art so i'm going to add text to the channel art the text i'll be adding is going to be my channel id which is cow cow and i'm going to use this as an example so once that is done i'm clicking on it and that says i can use a different font any font of the choice if you have a particular font saved on your phone, you can actually use that. So I'm going to pick this particular font. I think it's okay for me. So I want the font to stand out. So I'm going to add a stroke to it. A stroke to it and I'm going to include color to the stroke. Once the color is included, I'm going to choose a white color. I want it to be brighter. Once it's white and I want to make the font also visible. So I'm making choosing a different color for the font, which is blue. Once I set, I'm dragging the font to the right position. Yeah, I think that's positioned properly. Yeah, it's okay now. So once that is done, I'm also going to add another text to it. The text I'll be adding to it is going to be what my channel is about, which is going to be about last time, it's going to be about DIYs, and it's going to be about vlogging. So I'm including those parts also to the channel at. Once that's done, so it's in a white color, but which is definitely not good. So I'm changing it, the color to a black color. And I'm also going to change the font because I really don't like this font. So I'm going to use this font instead and reduce it, make it smaller. So I don't want it competing with the channel name. So I'm going to make this smaller and just place it below my channel name, just right below there. I just need to get the right position for that. Yeah, that's done. I still want to add some special effects to my channel art just not for it to look plain so i'm going to add a bit of stickers to it you can pick any variety of stickers because pixar have a lot of stickers which you can choose from but i already have a sticker planned out so i'm just going to select the sticker once yeah i'm just going to select the sticker then i want to make the sticker fit into the channel art i'm reducing the size and placing it in the right position where i want it to be once that is done, I don't want it standing out and competing, so I'm blending the sticker with the channel art that I've created. So I'm going to choose the right one. The screen is okay. Positioning it properly. Then I'm going to include another sticker so I can add it to the other side of the name. 
I'm also going to reduce that and also going to make it blend so it doesn't compete also Once that's done, I'm once that is done, the next is just for you to just save the channel art. So I'm saving the channel art, but I'm also going to use photo grid to make the resolution higher because YouTube uses a higher resolution for channel art. So I'm using photo grid to increase the resolution of the channel art. So I'm just going to select the image I've edited and just Reduce a bit so it can fit to the screen. Then just save next, and that's it. So I've saved the image, which is already making it higher already. That's it. So the image is done. Now you want to upload it to YouTube. Open the YouTube application. Go to your channel once the application is open. Click on the setting icon, then set, click on the banner, choose the photo, which is the image you've edited already, then position it properly to fit into the channel at. So that's it guys, you just have to just click on the save button. That's it guys, thanks for watching, do subscribe to my channel and remember to share this video. Be using Pixart and...